Imagine designing immersive architectural spaces, lifelike product designs, and expensive game environments, all with the power of AI within your smartphone. Now this is possible with Virin 3D by Rebuilder AI, the ultimate platform for 3D creation. Virin uses photo to 3D technology, and you can turn any simple photograph into a 3D model in just a few minutes. As of now, 3D scans don't give great results, but this software captures every single detail and every single texture and produces versatile and compact files. The models are compatible with all major softwares in the industry. This can open a wide range of possibilities for architects and interior designers, providing a faster, accurate and creative approach to their work. So let's jump in and see how to get started with this software. I'm Salman, an architect and an illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. So let's get started. This is what the homepage of Viren 3D looks like and this gives you a gist of all the powerful tools that this platform has to offer. All the tools here are AI based and hence they're time saving and accurate. This has some really innovative use cases such as product promotion, virtual showrooms, advertisements and for architects and interior designers, we can use this in our design process for selecting furnitures, materials and more. Let's go to services and here we can see all the tools of this platform. Some of these tools are accessible on the web version, while some of these are compatible on the Virin app. The Virin 3D app is available on iOS and Android. I've been using this for a while now, and I noticed that the iOS version seems to have more options and UI interface than the Android version. Hopefully, it will be updated in the Android version as well. As for the pricing, we have a trial version which allows us to try all the features of this platform. Using this, we can get to know the various tools and the interface to see how it can work. We then have an individual and business plan providing various options depending on your usage. Let's now begin looking at the various 3D creation solutions. The first one being the 3D scanner, using which we can scan any object and create them as 3D models accurately. This can be done on both the web and the app as well. On the web version, we'll have to upload 20 images of any object in various angles. We have an example here of a thumbnail which shows the right order of taking these photographs. We can upload it and click create 3D to create the 3D model. In case you find that complicated, we can use the app version which is a lot more user friendly. Head over to the app store or the play store and search for Virin 3D. Here we notice that the interface is a lot more simple and easy to choose the service that we want. Once we install the app, we can simply use our Google account to log in and this is what the home page of the app looks like. When we scroll down, we have some examples of a few 3D models. We can open these and toy around to see how it looks like. We have the 3D and 360 option to rotate the object in all directions. We also have the AR which opens the camera from the device and we can view this object in augmented reality. The size and scale of the object is exactly the same as it was scanned. We can move it around, place it around the floor and also resize it. We can notice that it actually looks very realistic and it also has a great light and shadow in anywhere that we place. Here are a few other models that we can see from the main screen. Now let's see how to begin scanning an object. Press the camera icon below and this will open a guide that shows the kind of objects to use and how to scan them. We'll have to make sure that the object is not the same on all the sides, the texture of the object is not too shiny and to place it on a surface while scanning it. It can be a plain surface or a simple wooden surface, but not something reflective. Similarly, we need to have even light on all the sides of the object and we are good to go. While scanning it, let's make sure to not zoom in or zoom out too much, but fill the object to the size of the camera. The scanning needs to be steady and we'll have to walk around the object to scan it and not rotate the object as such. As mentioned earlier, we'll need a minimum of 20 images and a maximum of 200 images. More number of images that we produce, better will be the output. You can also go through the FAQ section in case we need more clarity. Now let's see how to start scanning an object. To begin with, I'll be scanning this handbag and I'm using my iPad for this process. I've placed the bag on a plain table and as for the lighting, I try to make sure that there are not too many shadows or dark spots. The process of taking these photographs definitely needs a bit of patience and precision. On the camera screen, we just need to align the bag so that it fits the screen completely. As you click a photo, you will see this purple rectangle which indicates the position from which we've taken the photo. This will help us to keep track of all the photographs that we're taking of the object. Let's slowly walk around the object and position the camera to fit the screen at all angles. I've taken photos completely around the bag and I've also taken photos about the bag as a circle. Once done, click finish and we'll have to name the file of the 3D model. Click save and this will take a few minutes to generate a 3D model of the bag. We have the results and it's quite impressive. We can rotate the bag as 3D 
or in 360 degree. We can also use the AR option to place the bag on the same table. As you see on the screen, the scan model and the bag are almost indistinguishable. We can scale the bag or move it around in position. Now you might have already noticed a few snacks where we have the sling of the bag. The 3D scan has taken a few edges of the table and added it into the 3D model and that can be easily fixed with the power of AI. Click retouch and here we have an option called shape refinement. What this does is, this uses the power of AI to refine the edges of the shape of any object that we scan. Once you click that, it takes about 5 to 10 minutes to refine the object and here is the result. We can notice that the edges are a lot more cleaner and it looks almost realistic. Let's once again use AR and place the bag and we can barely notice the difference between both the objects. We can turn on or turn off the shape refinement if we want and we also have another AI option called material realism. This will basically enhance the material of the object that we scan and make it look realistic. We also have an option called align and this can be used when you have two surfaces of an object and you want to align that as one single model. For example, you can align the top edges of a shoe and the bottom base to create one seamless model. Right next to it, we have two beta services and the first one is create image. This tool can be used to place the object in a background, change the colors and ratio. We can scale the object and this will allow us to create a great looking product photograph. We can choose the ratio based on our usage, whether it's going to be horizontal or vertical format for social media. Once done, click create and this will create an image which can be downloaded to the local drive. Using the next option, we can create a video of the object that we just scanned. The next option in the column is called video create and this will create a video of the product that we just scanned. Similar to what we saw earlier, we can change the background and motion of the object. We'll also be able to resize the object while creating the video. We have different presets of motion to use in the video and as of now, we're not able to see the preview and we'll only be able to see the final output after we generate it. Let's choose motion 8 and click generate to see the results. It's amazing that we can take any simple object and create a professional looking photograph and videograph using VRIN 3D. We have a limitation of being able to create only vertical videos as of now, but hopefully we'll have more formats in future. I then tried creating 3D model of a larger object such as this cat tree right here. I was able to create a very good looking 3D model that captures the shape and scale of the object as well as the textures. Now we'll also be able to export this as a 3D model by choosing the download option. This will open the polygon settings and file format. Inside this, we can adjust the polygon count of the object by choosing between high, medium or low. VRIN 3D uses AI to make these adjustments and once you're done, you can choose between multiple file formats based on the softwares that we use. Click download to save it to your local drive and then use it in your software. The second tool in VRIN is Image to 3D and this is quite a fascinating tool for architects. This tool can convert any image into a 3D model and I will let you imagine the possibilities of this tool. To try this, let's look up for a tile image in Pinterest and see if we can actually turn this image into a 3D model. Let's download the image, head over to the tool, we'll have to upload a file name and this page also shows us the kind of image that we need to upload into this tool. It can be a single image or it can be multiple views of the same image as well. We can switch between the tabs to change that. Let's upload the image into this and click create 3D. It takes about 3 minutes for this tool to generate it and we have the result. The image that we uploaded has been converted into a 3D model and we are in 3D has taken the information of a single flat image and applied it on both sides of the model. Now there are multiple customizations that can be done on this 3D model from the tab on the right side. Under the viewer tab, we can change the background of the tile to any sample image or we can upload an image from the drive as well. Now this will actually be very useful for architects and designers where you can simply upload an image of an empty wall or your elevation design, place the 3D model on top of it and see how the output will look like. Similarly, we can change the lighting of the 3D model and we can switch between studio, cinema and so on. We can also adjust the intensity of the shadows and the softness. On the next tab, we can upload default materials into the 3D model and this will actually follow the contour of the model that we created. Here are some sample images, but we'll be able to upload other images from the drive as well. Once again, we can customize the image properties 
on the texture that we are uploading. And these sliders can be used to change the metalness or roughness of the 3D model. And finally, from the last tab, we can share a link for anyone to view the same 3D model from anywhere in the world. We can also adjust the polygon count and export this as a 3D model in any format that we want. The next tool in Virian is Sketch to 3D and this can actually open a wide range of possibilities. Imagine making a simple sketch of any object, product or furniture and being able to turn it into a 3D model in just a few seconds. Let's upload a simple line drawing of a chair inside this tool and click Generate 3D. You'll be surprised to see that the simple sketch we uploaded has been converted into a 3D model with multiple customization options. Firstly, the output looks exactly the same as the outline that we uploaded, so the AI has done a great job in interpretation. Similar to the customization we saw earlier, we'll be able to change the background colors, textures, image properties and so on. There are slight limitations with the color options. The colors that we choose gets applied to the entire model, but I do think that this is a great step in being able to think in three dimensions. Here's another example of a sketch that I've uploaded and this looks really precise as well. Finally, the last tool in Virian 3D is Viewer and Converter. Using this tool, we can upload any 3D model and convert it into multiple file formats. As designers, we know the struggle of converting one 3D model from a specific file format to another one. We'll have to juggle between multiple softwares and check the compatibilities for something as simple as converting a file. This is exactly where this platform, Virin 3D, plays a major role in saving our time in the conversion process. So that was it from the walkthrough of Virin 3D. This is definitely an exciting platform for designers of any kind. The link to Virin 3D is provided in the description of this video, so make sure to check it out. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.